So, this is the helicopter I've been learning to fly in. Whiskey Delta Romeo. And before I fly it, pretty much I do a check on it. A daily check, check the bubble. Make sure there's no cracks, scratches, or it hasn't been damaged since last time. This string here, it's a trim string. Helps you uh, keep the aircraft in trim in the air. Check the front, the undercarriage. Check the doors. Got all the pins they need. And open it up. In here we turn the battery on. The master switch battery. Let me come back to the rear of the helicopter. Undo here. And then here we've got the relay uh, checks. So we look back into this the dash. And we check each of those warning lights that come up on the dash. So I've already done this, so this is just a quick look through. Open this up, I've already done it, but there's uh, the fuel in here. So I've done a fuel drain just to make sure there's no water in the fuel. Turn the uh, battery back off. Just down there, the rotor brake up here, turn that off. And we check things like uh, the pedals that we've got full travel, so you can see that it's operating the, uh, you can see the, the tail rotor. Moves, that's just checking that that's all working. There's, there's no excessive movement, so movement that way is fine, but there's no loose movement. Here we've got the clutch. So this is a clutch system from the engine through to the pulleys, and that constantly adjusts throughout the flight uh, to make sure there's enough tension on on the on the on those belts. So that little thing you can see in there, the little red, it's called a tally temp. So basically, if something overheats, that will indicate what temperature it's got to, so it needs to operate within normal operating parameters. This here we've got the hydraulics system, so we check that, and all the other little bits and pieces up in there. So, back in under here, there's another telly, another telly temp that you can see in there. Just checking all the nuts and bolts. All the wires that nothing's looking, nothing's looking out of place. So I'll do all this back up. Make sure they're done up. It's all good. So we come in here to the right side of the helicopter, but to the left side of the engine, because the engine is actually mounted upside down. So we're checking in here, and check to these wires, that they're all latched in. That stops the nuts vibrating loose during flight. So check that's all good, and the inlet is clear. Pretty much, let's go over the rest of the helicopter. Uh, checking that everything's looking good. Check all the rivets. Just kind of run your hand over it. Visual inspection just to make sure that it's all looking fine. This is a candy cane here. So just checking all the surfaces. Nothing's been hit. And as you're touching it, you're actually looking for anything that's wrong. So there's the bump stop here at the back. And uh, if that's obviously hit the ground, you would feel the paint potentially have been chipped. And check that. There's more fluid to check up here. Some more tally temps. Again, just double check that the you can see the movements there. And also that the rotor.
road ahead can spin. So normally here, I've already done it today, but I would have a ladder and I would check up here. There's another a section to check. And you're just checking the blades. I'll allow it to spin this around. Check the end of the main rotor blade. It goes around. And I'd move further up here. Keep going, keep inspecting. I'd get up on my ladder and I'd check all the nuts up there. We've got those little indicators on them. Let's check the general. How things are. Got the engine on this side. So again, like I said, I've already checked in here. The yellow, yellow lid there, or the screw cap, that's the oil. So I've checked the oil above seven quarts of oil in there at all times. It's another couple of tele temps in here. Just general visual check that everything's looking good. There's no nuts have come loose. No wires that are hanging loose. Checking the general general airworthiness of the machine. Checking the doors are latched. So that's the visual inspection. That's the daily daily inspection of the helicopter. And then if I was coming to actually fly the helicopter, get in the helicopter. And I would start to go through the checklist here. So seat belts, fuel shut off, the frictions. And then I'd go through um, all the pre-startup pre-startup checks. So yeah, that's just a quick intro to what I'm doing in the helicopter. Cool. Cheers.